Welcome to Anything Outdoors, Preparedness Edition. Today we received our Harvest Right freeze dryer and we're about to crack her open. Inside the box we have Mylar bags, oxygen absorbers, oil filter, this looks like your Brita water filter, <laughs> and oh, vacuum pump oil, sealer, this is all part of their kit when you buy the freeze dryer, got all the hoses, power cord, I bought extra Mylar bags, so I've got four boxes of those, 10 by 14s. Those will be my mountain house meals for the hiking trips. Instruction books, uh, these are the trays. They do appear pretty small, but hopefully I won't regret it later. This is the medium sized. And the vacuum pump. More pump oil. This is supposed to be their upgraded pump where you don't have to change the oil after every use. So you're supposed to be able to get 30 or 40 uses out of it. I'm hoping that is correct. But pump oil is not horribly expensive. standard warnings don't lift the freeze dryer by holding the door I would sure hope nobody would try that well, it looks like I'll have to do the old-fashioned style of tearing it open <clears throat> looks like they got plenty of foam around so we should not have any damage. <clears throat> so this is straight out of the box. It was inspected by you. This is a nice thick acrylic door. Alright. Good. I was hoping that could be balanced in there. Alright. So we're gonna set this up and get a batch of stuff freeze drying today. For reference, the packing slip from FedEx says the weight is 225 pounds so be sure to expect that when it's being delivered it is on a pallet so if you've got any way to move a pallet that would be the ideal way to go about it i used a hand truck to move this one and was able to move it just fine i believe the freeze dryer itself is somewhere around the 100 pound range and yes it is it is quite heavy so be prepared for heavy lifting and team lift if you get something like this. This is the first time starting it up. through a process of cooling the chamber, 
test the vacuum pump and then we'll be ready to start freeze drying. I know what y'all are thinking. What's going to be the first batch? That's right, Skittles. There we go, that's 18 packs of Skittles right there. This box contains 36, so it's half a box. I'm not sure how many it'll take to fill up these trays. It says it's ready to go, close the drain valve and press continue. The drain valve is closed. Let's go ahead and start loading up some trays. Well, you know what they say, nothing says apocalypse food like severe onset diabetes. We already have some frost in the chamber. That ends up being nine bags per tray. This is the medium size. Let's hit continue, and it says freezing. It's got a little timer on here, and tells the temperature, which is 53 degrees in there right now. Yeah, so the pump is not turned on yet. It's plugged into the back side of the freeze dryer, and so the freeze dryer will tell it when to kick on. For the finished product, Skittles, they split open, and the inside puffs up. So they still have their hard candy shell, but the inside puffs. And when you're eating them, they're really super crunchy. Uh, if you suck on them, the inside will dissolve really fast and leave you two candy shells on the, on the outside there. And these are Jolly Ranchers. So they just puff up into these giant puff balls here. Uh, your tray gets nice and dirty, but it doesn't matter if you're doing a bunch of candy since it doesn't contaminate anything else. On the freeze dryer, the only way to access candy mode is you have to go into customize. This is something I would like to see Harvest Right fix, is you can start a freeze dry cycle. And it would be really nice if they allowed you to customize your freeze dry cycle once you start it. Because no matter what, you've got 15 minutes for it to cool down the chamber before you can do anything else. So it'd be really nice during that 15 minutes that you could customize instead of having to stop the process and go again. In the customize mode, you have your dry temperature. We have to maximize that. I just go for 150. And it says right below, candy high temperature mode. That's not it though, so you have to save this. I've got two hours of additional dry time. The Skittles dry really fast. It takes about two hours for them to go through the entire process. Uh, without the additional dry time on the Skittles, which I add two extra hours, some of them don't completely dry and others are partially dry. So the two extra hours of additional dry time really do make the difference and I'll walk through the rest of the menu on how to do the candy mode. It's done with a pre-freeze. It gives you an auto prompt, high temperature candy process. You have to turn this on and then press continue. After that, you warm the trays. So right now it's warming up the trays, but uh, you can select it for less time. So it'll go through this warming process until it reaches 150 degrees. It gets done pretty quick. Within about two minutes, three minutes, it's already up to 150 degrees. And so if you've got things like Jolly Ranchers, you may want to warm them longer than just the two or three minutes to get up to the temperature, just so the whole candy can be that temperature. After this, it goes into the vacuum process. From the vacuum process with the Skittles, almost immediately once it gets a vacuum in there, they start splitting and they look almost like uh, what I just showed you in the bags. The Jolly Ranchers, they do take longer. Thank you for joining us and be sure to check out other videos.